Well, what's up guys, back again, and this video is being made on the Tournament 24 course, a course that I just recently finished. But I'm um, just talking about a few things, as you can see it's night time, there's a new Sasuke sign behind me as well as the buildings are a different color. I've been doing some new designing for the course, stage 1's at night time, all of it. Stage 2 will take place during a thunderstorm, stage 3 will be at night time, and stage 4 will be at night time, but stage 4 already was. Um, but... There is um, some new obstacles, different obstacles coming back from the past, but that stuff's not important. We're here to talk about what the main part of this video is. Over a little over a year ago, I hosted a, I wouldn't even call it a tournament, it was like a one, it was supposed to be a one time thing where Talking King and Wolf Ninja would race each other on the course and see who could get the farthest the fastest and Basically, I would give out points. Stage 1 was 1 point, two was, stage 2 was 2 points, and stage 3 was 3. If we end with a tie, we go to stage 4. Wolf Ninja won last time. We're doing it again. We're starting stage 1 with Talking King. I'm looking to get revenge after he lost. I think it's been like a year and a half. And he's off. First obstacle. Double vertical plank. So you climb up. Jump across, climb up another one. So his goal is just to be faster than Wolf Ninja or get farther. Now second obstacle, this obstacle has been made a lot easier due to complaints of mm, so many people. Almost everyone was complaining that this obstacle was way too hard. So I added another pillar in it. Takes more time to complete but easier um, someone shooting at him shouldn't be doing that double hill drop change the color of this difficulty is still the same and he's done it now an obstacle that we haven't seen in a very long time the jump hang slightly changed from when we seen it way back now there's these two blocks at the end Instead of a bar, he's able to get through it though. Now the warped wall, right up it in one. Onto the butch thunder, this obstacle took out the most amount of people in um on stage one last tournament. And it takes talking out here. Well here we go. Wolf Ninja must either complete the butch thunder or get there faster than one minute and seven seconds or Talking King gets the first point. Last time Talking King won stages 1 and 2, um, but Wolf was able to win stage 3, which tied it up, because stage 3 is worth the most points, so they had to climb the stage 4 tower um, to see who would win. Fastest time was going to be the winner, and the fastest time ended up being Wolf. So, Wolf is here. Ooh, almost falls off there. He's taking his time. I don't think he's gonna try to be talking his time to the Butch Lender. I think he just feels confident that he can complete it. Because he is around 7, 8 seconds behind Talking King to this space. Double hill drop now. And he's able to do it. We saw some really early falls last time too, like people falling on the first couple obstacles, glad that didn't happen. Now, oh, down he goes on the jump hang. So Talking King gets the first point and you can see the lightning in the background. Now Wolf Ninja will run first on stage 2 because Talking ran first on stage 1. This course is exactly the same, no changes at all. Dunking with the lead, one point going into stage two. See what Wolf Ninja can do here. Oh, he over jumps it. That kind of sucks. Yeah. Pretty surprising there. Anyways, time for our next run. As you can see, talking in there on the platform getting ready for his run 
Here we go, now Talking King. I'll have to complete this obstacle. Not a really hard job to do. Oh my god, he fails the mount. What a loser. Well, Wolf Ninja gets the points for stage 2. Now stage 3, Talking is up first. He fails the first jump again. Well, all Wolf Ninja has to do... Well, all Wolf Ninja has to do is make the first jump on this obstacle and he'll win again. And Wolf Ninja is your winner. Oh my god, he fails the second one. Well, I'm using this for the outro of the video. Some old World War II footage I found in my clips. So, just enjoy this last little bit of footage. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Tournament 24 will come soon, I promise. As well as some other cool videos I've been working on. Um, I think that they're going to be pretty enjoyable. Um, working on another Fortnite video. Why? Yep.